Hello, my peoples out there. Welcome to my new walkthrough slash playthrough on Super Mario 3D World plus Bowser's Fury. Now, I chose to start off with traditional Mario 3D World just because I know more about this. I don't. I've only played Bowser's Fury once. Uh, I had this on the Wii U since the Wii U came out. Um, I still have it, uh, but this is very different compared um to the original game um one thing to name uh, uh the speed increased by 40 percent so everything is like way faster uh that's really the main change i can think of so so i have a new save um started up here uh the first world i recommend to use luigi because a lot of the um, levels need like high to jump places and he's just perfect for it. So uh, yeah, let's get into this game. My Probably my favorite between Mario 3D Land and Mario World. I love this one <laughs> more than that last one. Um, I do like this more than Mario 64 to be honest. <laughs> um, not just because of the graphics being better, but ooh, what's this? But um... Actually, I haven't played this game in a while, so... Uh, memory is gonna be a little fuzzy. I don't remember this, really. Oh, wait! Stuff is gonna start shooting at Yep, okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Nostalgia's hitting right now. And, oh my god, it's the, um... It's a Lucky Charm. It's the... It's a female version of the Lucky Charms Man. Oh. Uh-oh. Bowser's putting, um... Leprechauns in jars, I guess. That's basically the whole story of this game, now realizing it. Bowser's stealing these, like, things and putting them into jars, and we're gonna try and get them out of the jars and stop Bowser. So, Bowser's basically a kidnapper of women. Why Why does he like kidnapping women so much? Is he a pervert? <laughs> I don't get it. But now we are entering a new realm. This is what Mario sees when he enters a, a warp pipe. He goes, he like goes trip mode. <laughs> so, yeah, here we are. Oh, man. So, basically, I'm going to go through each and every one of these levels. And <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> He's like, oh, oh, please. We gotta keep going. <laughs> uh, uh, ooh, th this is, um, I remember that. But, uh, that's not right now so we can run around do whatever uh jump all that i'm using the joy cons on their normal positions so um uh like i was saying we're gonna go through each and every one level i'm gonna show you how to get every green star every stamp and probably the easiest way to get the gold the gold pole because you need that to complete the game you need to get every gold pole every green star and every stamp in every level to be able to um, get to the final world. So first up we have World 1-1 Super Bell Hill. So let's get into this baby. So as you can tell, uh, there's only eight directions, but we are blazing fast. So, um, oh yeah, a new addition to this game is you can do the dodge, uh, well, not the dodge roll, uh, the um, dive roll from Mario Odyssey, and trust me, does that help you a ton in this game? Because you'll always find yourself falling off after, like, you know, running this fast. But, uh, so, uh, first star, you're gonna find in this clear pipe, and also I think there's a bell here, so we can take that. Beautiful. So you'll find the first star right up here. All you have to do is point the direction uh, in the clear pipe, or you can just climb up the wall. But um, yeah, so that is it here. Uh, if we can break all these. Um, and then you can just go through here. 
You can jump on that. I think in the original game you could get like uh, uh, coins and stuff. But here, that's your first flag, and then I think you come over here to see the goal. That's strip right from Sweet Million, but uh, usually that bunny right there is really annoying. But um, in the original game, because you're so slow. But uh, this is the next star. You gotta chase this bunny, nab it to get the second green star. Uh, in here, if you go in here, you'll be able to find the secret stamp by uh, jumping in this thing. Now, in the original game, you could collect those, and by the end of the level, you would see them, and then it would go to your stamp collection, and you could use them in Miiverse posts. But now, it's used in snapshot mode. If I point down, I should be able to place a stamp, rotate, like, oh, the world! Oh! And then, um, add a stamp. I boom that. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. And then you could just take a picture. But I don't do that because it's pretty much worthless. And it's really only used for Twitter posts now. But, um, oh, wait. Third green star. So if you want the third green star, you can either get a mega mushroom and go down here. Or you can just jump down and do a uh, little bit of that. And collect the last green star. And there you go. That is stage one of world one completed. So let's just collect these coins. Um, and just all you have to do is really jump on the flagpole. And if you have a cat suit, you could even do it from the bottom and climb up the flagpole to get to the top. So it's not that big a deal. Super Bell Hill, that's how you do it. Right there. That's my boy. And then uh, all the stamps are colorized now because Miiverse did not allow um, colored stamps. So let's. Um, go to the next level. So the next level um, is Koopa Troopa Cave. Uh, I'll show you how to get all the three green stars and stamps. Not that bad. They're pretty much visible. You don't really have to find any secrets. Um, but, uh, oh yeah, there's an Easter egg. Uh, there's actually two things that you can do in this level, but there's an Easter egg down there. You can see a little crouching Ouija down there. Uh, when this game came out, uh, it was the year of Luigi, so there's a lot of Luigi stuff in this game. But, okay, first star, or actually, before we do that, I want to show you guys something if you're new to this game. If you're not, then you probably know what I'm talking about. Um, oh, crap. If you come down here, you uh, kill that turtle. Wait, no, crap. Ouch, my buns. Okay. If you grab a turtle shell, uh, ooh, that was weird. And if you come over to here and you throw the shell, what, whoops, I did it in the wrong way. If you throw it to this wall and you jump at the right moment, you can start getting like crazy lives. Now, in this game, it's like weird. It's kind of patched in a way, but um, that's no problem. I got 24 lives. It's really easy to not die in this game. If you know what you're doing, but um, that's a little trick you can do. I haven't really mastered it because I don't ever need lives when I play this game. But um, yeah, so just go through that. Come to this. Uh, the first star is right behind here. All you have to do jump through the clouds, and it is right there. Boom! First star. Uh, another Easter egg in this level. Um, I just said it was easy, to, not easy to die, but. Uh, if you run all the way up here, you can uh, find yourself a little secret poop. Uh, pip, I should say. Pipe. And you can find a little shell mini game. It's not really a mini game, but if you enter the shell, blah, 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 you can get some coins from kicking these. You can kick them, or you can enter them. I like entering them because it makes it a little more fun. But, um, and you can just actually care again and do that. <laughs> You can get to yourself a lot of lives and a lot of coinage. Not as efficient as the uh, one-up trick I just showed you, but still, it's pretty fun. Uh, you can get a lot of lives. And now, if the second star is in this little mystery box, you have to kill all these creepy troopies by uh, shell throwing, and there you go. Not so shabby. Not too shabby. Uh, now we can just enter this pip right here. And I think if I get these coins, I'll get another life. Yep. 
Uh, now the secret stamp. Uh, all you have to do is jump up these things, these thongs, crud, uh, and you'll see a little clear pip. Oh my god, why can't I do this? Uh, clear pip, and if you enter it, you'll be able to find that secret stamp. So, there you go, that's your second stamp. Stump, ow! And then there's the last ring star. All you have to do is, actually there should be an invincibility still somewhere. Yeah, but you can actually just do that. Um, I swear I think there's an invincibility still here, but... Uh, usually I think what you're supposed to do is grab this shell and just let them fall like that. And they'll all die. But that's the pimp, that's the wimp way. The Diary of a Wimp Kid way. Uh, this one's not that bad. Uh, just prop The easiest way is just to get this turtle out of here. And then just do a running start, jump, and there you go. That's how you play the game, baby. That is how you do it. That is how you want to do it. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. And there's the second stamp. It's just a lame coin, but... Who cares, you know? Uh, this, completing this level will also unlock that tote house over there, so. Uh, I'll show you what's in there. It's not much. Um, I'm actually gonna need to go to that tote house if I wanna do that, so. Um, let's go in here. So, welcome to a tote house. Pick a box. It contends with the help your way. So, yep, there we go. Um. Uh, I'll take that fire flower. It's way better than having a mushroom in. Uh, <laughs> okay, so that was the toad house. Now, whoops, I'm not playing. Actually, this doesn't even work anymore. The online play, it, I, I don't think you can play with people worldwide anymore. I think it's only just to your friends. Because I've tried, um, uh, doing it, um, with other people, uh, for a while. So, as you can see... That's how uh, you do that. <laughs> uh, you just have to kill the charts and chucks in a certain time limit, and you're golden, pony boy. So let's go. Now that those stages only have one star, and nothing else, so you don't have to worry about that. Uh, this is actually my um, favorite stage in one of the special worlds because uh, you get like a special power. But I'm not going to do spoilers, even though this game's been out for like. Uh, eight years. Uh, so, if you come up here, you will be able to find the first green star, and it's just the, the tree to the left of the starting area, so that's fine. Uh, I recommend using a fire flower for a lot of the stuff in this level because the enemies can be a little annoying, but oh, come on. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, yeah, so that was the first green star. Uh, the next uh, thing is if you press that power block, you will be able to reveal this poop. And if you enter this poop, uh, you will be greeted to a P-Switch minigame. If you press it, you have to get all the P-Coins um, in a certain time limit. And if you do, you will be able to nab yourself the second a green a star. And um, there you go. So that is nice and dandy. And right outside, super easy, the stamps are right there. All I have to do is I have to climb a wall jump. I don't really like climbing in this game, it doesn't feel worthy, I don't know. Uh, press that and you'll get yourself an easy way to get. Uh, but I'm just gonna take that, I don't care about the fire flower in this game. Makes Luigi look ugly. <laughs> yeah, actually no, him in the cat suit's more ugly or no. Okay, next star, you're not going to want to go there, you're going to want to go up this, uh, smack that three times, uh, reveal the histocrat thing, and jump in that cloud, and go into drug mania. Probably, like, this cures so much OCD for me. Anxiety gone. I don't know why I said OCD, I meant anxiety gone. And then, there you go, green star. It can be difficult if you don't know what you're doing, but it's pretty easy for a beginner still. 
So you just, and then this is a mini boss. So you have to do this, let him do that, and then smack it. Boom, and that is a course cleared. That's what I'm talking about. Now, for this golden flagpole, you're gonna need a bell. You cannot do this without a bell. So, all you have to do is jump, climb up the thing, and you're golden pony boy again! And then, my two favorite stages in this game, probably really high on the list for me, are about to come out next. Uh, one is Switch Sock, Switch. Shock Circus. Um, I know that's the special one. Oh, I don't remember what the other one's called. And then Plessy. It's Plessy's world. If you watch the game Grumps, I probably. Have you tried connecting and playing with friends? Just connect online or with other Nintendo Switch systems to try all the. Well, I don't care. Uh, uh, let's get in here and switch Scramble Circus. Okay, sorry. Uh, technically I skipped one, but yeah. I just love the music in this level, and it's so, like, why hasn't there ever been, like, a Mario level that's circus? Like, I feel like it's second nature at this point. Same with Mario Kart. I, 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 I've never understood why there's never been, like, a, uh, um, a circus level. Oh, speaking of these, you can just use the gyro controls to, um, um, press these. Um, but, uh, next star, or first star, um, rather, you just gotta get up there. And then go through that, baby. And I think, no, that's the special one. So, um, get that flagpole, and then just press all of these things and um, you'll be golden okay I'm not gonna be able to reach this so let's just jump and oh whoopsies up uh, Boom, baby! And, wow. Okay, so, uh, where was I? Oh, yeah, second star uh, is in this little mystery box. Uh, you have to try and find the um, green star, but I'm pretty sure it's in this, this one. Okay, nope, it's not. No, it was in the other corner one. So, left corner, left bottom corner is where the green star is in that, so... Uh, in this one, uh, you'll find the green star in the middle. Don't just wait until it's stationary because um, it's very difficult to land on the middle. So, um, okay, last but not least, um, don't think that we're done because you still need to get the stamp. So, um, this is why I recommend Luigi for this level because there's an immense jump. Uh, once you do this, you're gonna want to do a ground pound jump and wall jump, and then you'll get the stamp. So, um, oh crap, I didn't get the golden flagpole, but I think you guys know how to get the golden flagpole by This game takes forever to finish, but this is a little secret toad house you can uh, use to get some special stuff. In world one, it's always the tiny one. And World 1 is always the tiny one. You, you always want to choose the tiny one uh, for World 1. So. Now, this is probably the best stage in World 1. Plessy's Plungeling Falls. If you don't know what this thing is, it is like Yoshi version 2. You're going to love him with all your heart. And you can't dish him, so. Hop on Plessy Dad for the goal. Control your speed by tilting up or down on the left control stick. And jump by pressing B or... When playing with friends, you can find that you can turn faster and jump higher whenever it was working together. Are you ready? Let's get going, baby! Now, in, um, Bowser's Fury, I'm pretty sure he controls differently. Like, way differently. But, um... So, first green star, you just gotta do a perfect time jump up there. And now, I believe this... No. No, it's not. Nothing's in here. It's just a shortcut. Now, next 
there's a little Easter egg. If you go up here, you'll be able to sell, nag yourself a one up mush. All you have to do is ow, jump up that, jump up that, and there you go. Now, you're going to have to play the stage twice um, to get all the things. So, the first way I recommend is going through this little waterfall, and that'll be able to get yourself the second star. Now, the reason why is because the stamp was on the right path, so you're going to have to play it with the right path um, on the next. Now, the last star is uh, coming up here. Um, you can kind of see it in front of us. You're going to do a perfectly timed jump, and then immediately push. Yep, I missed it. I was going a little too fast there, but um, <laughs> I'll get it when I replace this stage in a second. So I'll see you when I play uh, this, when I get back to that spot. Just bad the game. <laughs> oh, man. Well, I'm back again. So what I usually do is stay. There we go. Oh, my God. That took me three tries to get that. <laughs> Uh, now, let's see if I can get this star up here, so. Uh, I think the trick is just to go a little slower and miss just that one uh, thing right there. And just jump. No, it's not. Okay. Um, wow. <laughs> yeah, this level, I've never had a problem with this level. I don't know what's up with me, but I think you guys get the gist on how to get that star. Um, I don't feel like playing this level again for the fourth time. So uh, let's just get that golden flagpole and boom. But uh, So this is the this is the Captain Toe level. Um, pretty fun if you're not really into the 3D world thing and more like a puzzle gamer. Um, but what, a unique thing about this is that one, these were so fun they be just became a game. Second, you can play with multiple people compared, uh, um, apart from the other one where you had to just play with Captain Toad. And, um, yeah, so basically all you have to do is collect all the green stars in the stage, uh, to proceed. There is no stamps in this one except for the final Captain Toad, Captain Toad's fire finale. Uh, but apart from that, all you have to do is get all the stars, uh, uh, as I'm showing you right now. Uh, let me just go from here. Uh, watch the bitty buds. Uh, originally, this was a blow platform. You had to use the mic, but now it's just to replace with that because it's the switch and the switch doesn't have a mic. And there you go. That is Captain Toad's amazing beginning in the grassy lands of World Plessy. So, uh, yeah, now that. We're not over. We got to do the final Bowser. Well, no, not the final Bowser, uh, but the final boss uh, of World One. So let's get on that, shall we? Um, yeah. But, uh, yep. Here we go. So you need ten green stars to be able to advance to uh, um, Castle Bowser, uh, the Highway Showdown, I believe. Um, and yeah, I recommend Luigi a lot for this level because to get the green stars, you have to do a lot of stuff, um, that will be very easy to use for Luigi. So if you go in here, go get a bell and the first green star you have to do is collect all the star coins. Ow. Actually, I have a bell in here, but I'm not going to use it. Well, never mind. I am going to use it, uh, because these Goombas are on my nerves. Are you serious? I, okay. Uh, yeah, Goombas in this game are like your worst enemy. Wow. They are dumb, though. <laughs> uh, yeah, that Goomba actually just revealed the stamp, so. All you have to do is kick a soccer ball right there, and you'll be able to get it. And, um, climb up this. Just do that. And climb it up it. And do that, that's just a couple of things, and then there's the second to last green star, this, there's the other green star, you have to do is, the easiest way is just to kick a soccer ball right at him, but, it can be difficult, and then you can just jump on it, and there you go, you got everything, and you know, you kick that, uh, there should be a mushroom there, yeah, and now, now, 
It's the final baby Bowser, boys. That's what I'm talking about. Bowser's in this car. He's looking all hip. Uh, so to get him, you're going to want to fling these ba soccer balls right to hit him in the face. You can't hit the car. Um, I mean, you can. It does stuff, but it takes longer if you hit the car. So you want to be able to hit him right square in the face. So um, yeah, that, now he's going to start throwing his fireballs or spinning his fireballs. And boom! That's what I'm talking about. Uh, yeah. It's way easier to get this done if you have a cat because you can get the right angle uh, pretty quick if you claw with a cat. So, uh, yeah. Bowser's dead, my friend. Well, not really. We see him in uh, seven worlds from now, I think. Six, because this world counts. So. There you go. There's the first Brixie Princess that you could save. So, uh, if you have a cat suit, again, gold pole. Not really self-explanatory. Uh, just jump on it to win. And there you go. That is World 1-1, one, one, also known as World Plessy. Also known as Grass Plains. This has been Jack Attack 1131. And I thank you for watching this video if you end up finding it. And if you do, tell a friend and subscribe. So, until next time, I will see you in World 2 Super Mario 3D World. Peace, bye!